Hello, today I want to take yet another look at stock buybacks. You can see the other videos in this series by following these links right here. Today and in these previous videos, I'm arguing that you should really start caring about stock buybacks. They only benefit management. Today, I specifically want to take a look at 2018 and I'll show you why that is really socialism at its worst. Now, we can go and look at the amount of money being spent on share buybacks over time. And, and we notice it is a massive amount of money. Now, today, I specifically want to look at 2018, this $806 billion spent by S&P 500 corporations on stock buybacks. Now, one of the things that I want you to think about and I have asked you to think about is the amount of debt that companies are issuing over time. And the question then is, are they using this to invest, to innovate, R&D, and things of that nature? And the answer, of course, is they aren't really doing that. They're spending a ton of this money on a stock buyback. So we can look here, you see kind of in this period here that companies were on average, you know, spending 20 to 30% of their debt just to buy back stocks. Uh, we saw it later on, they were then jumped that up to 25 to 35% was being spent on stock buybacks. But then the uh, kind of artificially good news here is, well, hey, they're only spending, you know, 14% of their debt issuance in 2018 on stock buybacks. Now, this is largely due to the Tax Cut and Job Act, which did not create more jobs. It did not result in fairer taxes, and it did not result in bigger paychecks. Now, how can I say that? Well, what I want to do is I want to play a little shell game with you, okay? So I want to take a look at that act. I want to take a look at some numbers there. So let's start here. Tax revenues from corporations declined uh, in 2018 by $92 billion. So that, that was what the ramifications of this tax cut, this tax plan. Uh, we can also see here that the federal government deficit in that year jumped by $114 billion. Now, we can also just say, look, that's a direct result of these lower uh, revenues from corporations. So that's just basically taking those revenues and just pay, packing on debt instead. Now, we can also look at stock buybacks by S&P 500 companies. We see that in that year, yeah, we saw that $806 billion, meaning that stock buybacks jumped by a mere $287 billion uh, that year. You can also look at the portion of buybacks financed by, uh, by debt. And we see that, hey, it actually dropped here by 15%. It went from 29% debt financed to 14% finance. But let's not forget, this $92 billion is a deficit, right? That is a debt that now the US government owes. Uh, and so that really should be tacked on to that 14% there as part of the debt financing. If we do that, this 14% now becomes 30%, which means that the debt financing uh, of share buybacks increased by 1%. That's what we get there. If we look at the numbers, and we played this shell game. Now, of course, as taxpayers, we had a choice, right? We could say, hey, we could uh, issue debt as a society to pay for roads and bridges to improve existing roads and bridges. And we said, no, we do not want to do that. Instead, we would rather take that debt and we would rather turn millionaires into billionaires. And that's really what I mean by the worst kind of socialism where we have if you are rich and powerful in a corporation, you get all of the upside and then you pass along all of those negative externalities like debt to society. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, happy trading out there. I'm Brian Kozlowski. Thank you so much.